Hola, welcome viewers to our channel. Today's question is on exponential equation. And in this exponential equation, we want to figure out the value of x and y. If this is your first time of seeing me on this space, I want you to sit back and enjoy. If you find value at the end of the day, please consider subscribing. Because in this question, I'm going to walk you through the process one step at a time. With that being said, let us dive into the question right now. Alright viewers, let us analyze this question, this equation. You can see that 2 to the power x minus 2 to the power y is equal to 496. What it means that for 2 to the power x minus 2 to the power y to give us a positive number, for this uh, difference to give us a number that is positive, okay, it means that this guy must be greater than this guy. So it means that x must be greater than y. And if s is greater than y, that means we can write x in the form of y plus some quantities, say k, where k belongs to the family of the positive integers or the natural numbers. Now you can see now we have a new relationship for x. So I'm going to rewrite x in this equation as y plus k. So this guy now becomes 2 to the power, instead of writing x, so I write y plus k minus 2 to the power y is equal to 496. Now in this uh, equation, you can see that 2 to the power y is a common term in the left hand side. So I want to factor it out. So I have 2 to the power y into, if this guy divides this guy, you will have 2 to the power k, then minus, if 2 to the power y divides 2 to the power y, of course, it is just 1, then equal to 496. Okay, now at this point, I want to reduce this guy in an index form. Because I'm dealing with the base of 2 here, so I'm going to divide that by 2. Let's quickly do it over here. 496 divided by 2. Okay, so I have it to be uh, 2, I have it to be 4, I have it to be um, 8. Okay, so I have it to be 2, 1, 2, 4. Okay, I have it to be 2, 2 in 12 is 6, and 2 in 4 is 2. And I have it to be 2 into 6 is 3, and 2 into 2 is 1. So you can see that uh, this 496 can also be written as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 to the power of 4 times 31 is still written as 496. So I'm going to replace 496 with this expression. Okay, so therefore I will have, let me take off these guys from here. So now I'll have uh, 2 to the power of y into 2 to the power of k. Um, Okay, let me take off this guy to this point. So I have 2 to the power y into 2 to the power k minus 1 is equal to, uh, instead of writing 496 right now, I'm going to write 2 to the power 4 times 31, okay? Now, let us examine this equation. You can see that this guy, whatever be, this guy must always be even because 2 to this power must always give you an even number, okay? And of course, you can see that this guy is even, okay? And you can see that whatever be the value of k, this guy will be even, but because of the subtraction here, we always have an odd number. And of course, this guy too is what? Odd. So I'm going to equate the even terms and the odd terms. So here, now I have, uh, I have the even term now. I have this guy, 2 to the power of y is equal to the even term here, 2 to the power of 4. And it's very clear that from here, you can see that y is equal to 4. From this point, y is equal to 4. Okay, now let us go back to the odd terms now. So I have the odd terms. So I'll have 2 to the power k minus 1 is equal to the odd term here, which is 31. So of course, I'll collect like terms. This guy move back to this point, it becomes plus 1. So I'll have 2 to the power k is equal to 31 uh, plus 1, which will give me 32, right? Yeah, 32. Okay, so at this point, you also note that um, k, um, this 32 can also be expressed in the powers of 2. So you have 2 to the power k is equal to 2 to the power 5. Now, this guy will take off these guys, and um, it implies that k is equal to 5. Now, remember, we made a statement for x. We want to obtain the value of x. So I'll plug in the value of k and the value of y into this equation to get the value of x. So x is now equal to y plus k. But my y is now 4, so I have it to be 4 plus k is what? 5. I have it to be 5. Therefore, x is equal to 9. x is equal to 9. So these are the values of x 
and these are the values of y. So therefore, in conclusion, x is equal to 9, yes, and y is equal to 4. Okay, these are the answers we've gotten. If you still find it kind of challenging, please let me know in the comment section. But if this is an easy method for you, also let me know in the comment section. If you love what we do here, please consider subscribing. God bless you. See you in the next tutorial. Bye.